All right, it has been a while, and now that I joined in, it is the start of the Christmas event in Beast from Sim, or something along those lines. All I know is that there's been a big update, and a lot of stuff has changed. Um, between the, this, the last episode and this, I have done a little bit of grinding, uh, mostly just finishing up some quests, and also just doing a little bit of work. Um, but another big thing that I did manage to do between then and now is get enough tickets to go ahead and buy my first star treat. I mean, it is my second star treat, but it's the first one I buy. And so we'll go ahead and do that now. And probably, I think I was hearing that it would be best to go ahead and put that on my vicious bee, since that'll speed up some stuff pretty nicely. So we'll go ahead and find that and turn our get our next gifted event bee, which is really good progress i think um so yeah there we go and now i need to go figure out what in the world i need to do with this event now while looking around i did remember that this is technically a soft release so far so not all the content's out yet and this is still once it does all get released is still only part one of the event so i probably still have plenty of stuff that i'll need to do eventually but still looking around i do start to see a little bit of understanding of what this event will be like Alright, so I've done a little bit of exploring now, and I'm a bit overwhelmed with the amount of content that is new in this event. Uh, but one of the things I did realize is that I will be doing quests now to go f collect all the some stuff. So we'll probably go around and collect all the Christmas quests um, and figure out what exactly is going on, hopefully, by the time we've completed some of them. I've gone ahead and collected most of the quests, and I am starting to see that the beginning ones are going to be pretty easy to do, so I'm probably going ahead and skip through until I start actually getting some difficult quests. I still don't know exactly what they'll be giving me, um, but I felt like the, this it gave me enough of a direction with the quest to start moving on. I've gone through a few more quests now, and I've kind of stumbled into the ones that are actually difficult, like Riley Bee and Gifted Bucko Bee. Um, but still, I'm still a little confused on what exactly is going on, which probably could have been helped if I actually read like the quest lines. Um, but I think for now, probably just following the quest lines will help figure out what's going on. Um, for, right now, though, I don't think I have a chance at doing either Bucko Bee or Riley Bee, just since they seem like they require a lot of random stuff that I don't have. Um, but I think continuing through the Bee Bear, since those requests are s somewhat easy, but are also somewhat wrapping up, will probably begin to help us out a little bit more. So I've been grinding for a little bit now, and um, I do realize I have a few of the equips that I've picked up along the way. I had the Lump of Coal from a while ago, since um, I apparently played at some point during a previous Bee's Miss, but didn't get anywhere in it, but still managed to get a Lump of Coal. Um, so we'll probably go ahead and equip these to some of my bees. I think this one, since it does just take away energy, is probably good on an exhausted bee, um, since that it has unlimited energy. So we'll go ahead and... Ah, looks like, never mind, I don't know how bee equips work. Apparently I can't put this on any of my bees in my hive. Um, we'll go ahead and add the other ones though, since it does look like we can add that. I have now completed all the relatively easy um, things, so I have all of them unlocked except for, I think, except for uh, the Riley and Bucko Bee. Um, and now I need to go around and go collect some of the gift boxes that are around the map. Um, I, I think I have a total of five now, so I can go unlock a three, a four, and a five, I think. Um, I haven't found them all yet, so it's going to be kind of a little bit of me running around a little wildly until I find numbers on the ground that correspond to the stuff I have, so we'll go see what we can get from those. So we managed to find at least two two of the map gift boxes. I still think there's another one that for three somewhere around the map, since I think I remember seeing it, but that may be just my faulty memory. If I do find it, I'll probably just include it later in the video. All right, so I did actually manage to find the three, and of course, it's right here. Easy to find, should know where it is. But with that, we managed to collect some cool stuff from with that. Looks like we still do have quite a bit of ways to go before we need either of those two. And collecting tokens from planters does take a little bit of time for polar bears. So, um, that aside, we do have other quests that we can still work on, even though it is Beesmith. Start on, but just working through some of them. 
probably a good idea would be for me to do a little bit of ant quests since I always am behind and currently have had 10 ant tickets for way too All the ant chip hit challenges I want to do at this point. It wasn't that many and I wasn't being too efficient with it, um, but still got a few done. Scattering of white fields that I need to do throughout. Um, so we'll probably just pick one and do a little bit of grinding. Some of my bees miss quests that I still need to do. Anyways, it's been a while I've been grinding and my first ticket planter is ready to be harvested, so we'll go ahead and do that just to see how much random stuff I do get from that. Um, which looks like a lot of random stuff. I was not really prepared for that. I've only actually before this collected unfinished per ones, so not really expecting that. That looked like it was a decent amount of stuff. Six coconuts and 19 tickets, so um, that's pretty good. And now that we did finish up the tokens from planters, we can go ahead and finish up Polar Bear, um, which I think I heard that this is actually a decent one. Um, and let's go... Fi Ooh, that also looks like some decent ones. But we'll go ahead and figure out what this gives us. Ah! So we apparently get some bond for our, all our bees, which does seem to be very helpful. And along with uh, some other good, cool stuff every hour and 30 minutes, which does seem to be pretty helpful. Now that I got that, I can go ahead and unlock this six to go collect some more stuff, which looks like we are getting some a uh, few atomic treat, uh, at least one atomic treat, which is pretty good. And some other random stuff that I think is somewhat rare. Um, we also have overloaded our instant converters even more, which is starting to develop into a little bit of a crisis with how many we're getting. I also noticed that we can go ahead and buy this plastic planter, which says to be reusable, so getting more of those won't hurt too much. We still can't get anything else in this shop since we don't have very many waxes, but other than that, it's, these do look like to be decent upgrades when I eventually am able to get them. Alright, I figured out that there is more stuff in the blender now, so I think I'll go ahead and make some soft wax since um, I do need that for some stuff ahead, and making ton of it isn't too expensive for me right at this moment. Alright, I've made some progress. I'm up to a level 4 snow bear, which is just barely happened, so I do now need to wait another hour and 30 minutes to do that. And all the other quests are still quite a ways away, um, mainly either a lot of collecting from fields or other stuff that I don't really know how to do efficiently at this point, like rare puff shrooms and specific fields for both Bucko and Riley. Um, so I'll probably actually just go ahead and probably fall down a bee swarm for now and let that hour and 30 minutes pass so I can go ahead and finish up this bear bees quest and then move on to the next one to see what I need for that. Alright, I've gone ahead and finished up the snow bear showdown and got all those snow bears defeated. So we're going ahead and claiming this quest now from bear bee, which seems to give us some nice cool stuff. Um, more micro converters, which we haven't been able to use very efficiently. We got some down, but we still have way over our maximum. Um, I also, during that time, my uh, wax is got made, so we can go ahead and go over to the max, the wax shop, and buy at least one of the next wax uh, planter up. Um, actually, it looks like those are also renewable. I was, I, I thought that they'd be like the other ones and only get one of them. But we'll go ahead and plant that in another field. Also, some of our other planters are starting to get close to done, so we'll probably go ahead and claim those while we're here. Anyways, I've been doing a little bit, and I think it's time to go do some a little bit of boosting over in the pumpkin, since one of our quests does require a decent amount of pollen from the pumpkin field, and we do need to use some other stuff for some of our other quests. And we have quite a few boosts running at this point, too. So we'll probably roll our dice, hopefully get something soon for pumpkin. If not, uh, not too big of a deal. We can do max some of our cloud battles since we are maxed on those. And a little bit of blue since I need to for some other quests.
the grinding was pretty successful. We did manage to get all of our pollen in a relatively short amount of time. I think it was around 12 minutes total. Um, all said, I wasn't doing much actually boost rise. I think I used one glue and a few clouds. Um, I, I did roll some dice and actually managed to get punk in, um, but uh, I accidentally rolled away from it for some reason because I had my hotbar. Lesson learned, take the dice out of my hotbar um, since they do replace each other now. Um, but now that we are done with that, I think that's all I really... Actually, no, I've been getting a ton of royal jelly, so I do kind of want to go do some hive manipulation since I have a ridiculous amount of stuff. So we'll probably go ahead and use some royal jelly, probably like 100 or so, um, to just mess around a little bit and see if we can get anything good. Well, that was surprising. We actually did manage to get a gifted exhausted bee, which I think, looking at my hive, is a new gifted bee. Actually, no, it's a... we already have one. Um, but still, it's technically a higher level, so... Um, we did use quite a bit of royal jelly, but it's somewhat successful. Um, anyways, uh, I did want to also do a little bit of feeding, so we'll go ahead and do that, too. Alright, so I've finished up with the hive manipulation. I didn't actually get anything from feeding, um, but I did actually manage to get a mutation on my spicy bee so for some attack too, so that's kind of cool. Um, also, I overnight, um, it's the next day since then, I did go ahead and AFK at the stump field for some time. I did get disconnected about halfway through, um, but I got itself down a little bit, so we have made some progress on that. Also, because of that, I was able to complete another quest that was for uh, uh, Bear Bee, and so we'll go ahead and turn that one in. Here we are. Um, looks like some decent stuff, another present, which is always nice. Um, we'll start in the next one and see what we need for that. Anyways, now we're going to end the episode. It has been quite productive and getting into these misses a lot more um, content than I was really expecting. I'm kind of used to the ghost similar stage of updates, but it looks like we have a lot of stuff to learn and even more coming apparently in the future. So stay tuned for more Beastworm swarm content and I'll see you guys soon.